is from Yahoo. Is that really a valid concern for the security agencies? Or are they just trying to violate our privacy? Are they just nothing but a bunch of disgusting peeping Toms who are trying to invade every aspect of our life? Why are they rolling this out? Do they want us to know that they're doing that? Right after the break, we're going to be talking to Leanne McAdoo, and we're going to see how many times the government gets right in your face with messages about how they're recording you, and many other times they try to keep it covert. We'll be right back. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. Welcome back. Now, thanks to Telly Blackwood for forwarding this to us from California. You know, we see the Department of Homeland Security, the federal government, sending out these armored vehicles to local police departments. This is a small town, Modesto, California, where they've gotten one of these. They found a novel use for it. They are putting cameras in it, and they paint on the side, smile, you're on camera. Now, they've got four wide-angle lenses, four zoom lenses, and they say, we can keep it for days. See that woman right there? She has the mentality of a slave. She's saying, oh, I just love these cameras because it's going to make me safer. No, you're not. You don't ever get more secure by giving up your liberty. And, of course, it also begs the question, how do the feds feel about the fact that we videotape them. Do the cops like that? No, they don't like it. And we're not even taunting them with signs like, smile, you're on camera. How would they like that? Do you think the, how do you think cops would react to that if the public showed up with signs saying, smile, you're on camera? Maybe we should try that. But they're not always so obviously in your face. Of course, they do a lot of things covertly. And joining us in the studio is Leanne McAdoo. Leanne, tell us about some of the things that are just breaking that we're learning about the covert surveillance of our government. Right. Well, now it is it's it's in your face. You know, we've learned we've been reporting for the last eight years or more about the Xbox spying on you, the webcams. These are things now that Snowden's leaked them. It's legit. They are literally tapping into your computer and spying on you via your webcam. And of course, The Guardian is reporting that Yahoo's webcam images have been intercepted by GCHQ, which is, of course, you know, the UK NSA. That's right. And it's it's everywhere. But now in my report that's coming up, we're going to talk about how we are basically building our own prisons with this energy efficiency. The mm -hmm. uh, Newark, New Jersey airport is so proud of their new LED efficient light bulbs that are going to help to reduce their carbon footprint. But hey, they also have spy cameras in them that are spying on passengers before they even get to the gate. One of the most 
disgusting things of that report was just how they kept coming back to this woman who's she's just so glad that they're doing this for her security and for her safety. You know, if you've got this kind of quote unquote security, that's the kind of security you get in a prison. It's the pan optagon security where they've got a central tower and they can look at all the jail cells at once. They actually set this up in Victorian times so they could, you know, just physically do that. Now they're doing that with everything. They're measuring every aspect of our lives, what we think, what we talk about, where we go, everything is under their surveillance. And we're supposed to feel safer about that. It's absolutely right. insane. It's an infrastructure for tyranny. Right. And even David Petraeus will come right out and say, well, we're building this Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. There's going to be spy chips and everything to keep track of you. And people still don't believe that. I mean, they'll come right out and say, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Seemingly innocuous devices like your rice cooker is going to be equipped with these spy chips. And people still debate it and say, that's not really happening. Or, you know, your mm -hmm. Google Glasses aren't going to be putting my face in a database somewhere. This is an internet, internet not of things, but of tyranny. And it's an infrastructure of tyranny that they're building, not only technologically, but they're trying to lay the legal foundation for this. Well, that's absolutely right. And I remember being a little girl growing up watching those cartoons about the future and how your homes were going to be so efficient and the robots would be helping you and you'd just push a button and all the lights come on. And I'd have a flying car. They yeah. promised me that. But instead, <laughs> I got them in my face photographing and beyond creepiness. I mean, this yes. is just nothing but the kind of dystopian future that the elite had planned. It was, uh, And now we see that the Internet, which was originally a DARPA creation. Mm -hmm. We see that now that is now coming to play with this Internet of Things. Right, and Google is uh, has acquired Boston Dynamics, so they're kind of taking all of this technology. They mm -hmm. say, oh, that that's you know crossing a creepy line, and we're not ready to to cross that road yet. Mm -hmm. But yet they are preparing all of your appliances, your refrigerator, you know, rice cookers, their your, right. your light bulbs. They're equipping everything with the capability that when they are ready to tap into this technology of ultimate surveillance, mm -hmm. they can. They just, they, they just purchased uh, Nest for a large amount of money, which is a, a smart mm -hmm. thermostat. Yeah, the singularity is really Google. Google is out there buying up all the promising technology, right. especially artificial intelligence. They just acquired, I think it was DeepMind. I get it confused with the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Deep Thought. I mean, because our world is looking more like science fiction every day, but it's looking like a dystopian science fiction. Yeah, absolutely. And and I feel like the New World Order knows they're nothing without Google. Mm -hmm. And that's why Google has you know, been at the Bilderberg meetings and talking about how they can merge with YouTube and make everyone one single online identity so that we can be easily tracked and traced and yes. surveilled. And yes. Well, I mean, you know, they've, they've hired Ray Kurzweil. Mm. Of course, they call their operating system Android. We know that they're into cybernetics in the biggest way. They bought all the promising cybernetic companies, especially the ones like Boston Dynamics that are tied to DARPA. So it's very, very great concern. Let's take a look at your report. All right. New LED lights greeting the passengers at a Newark, New Jersey airport are doing a little more than just lighting the way. They're spying on travelers before they even get to the security checkpoints. The lights are fitted with computer chips, cameras, sensors, and Wi-Fi antennas. They collect data that can help detect suspicious activity or aid in police investigations. We reported on these spying streetlights in 2011 when Illuminating Concepts promoted the capability of IntelliStreet lights, which include energy conservation, homeland security, public safety, traffic control, advertising, and video surveillance. Using streetlights as surveillance tools has already been advanced by several European countries. Leaked documents out of the UK Home Office revealed that the British authorities were working on proposals to fit lamp posts with cameras that would X-ray passersby and undress them in order to trap terror suspects. And it isn't just for street surveillance. These LED lights are also offering an alternative to Wi-Fi for your home and office. German physicist Harold Haas has come up with a data through illumination LED light bulb, where data for laptops, smartphones, and tablets is transmitted through the light in a room. Here's a patent for LED light broadband over the power line communication system. Now, considering the assignee is the Federal Law Enforcement Development Services, I doubt the end game is just upping your city's bandwidth. City offices in Minnesota installed these ceiling lights in 2010 to save money on electricity thanks to the energy efficiency of the LEDs, 
but the lights also transmit coded messages with the desks below, which will allow data to be transmitted over the internet Wi-Fi style. Now, while the Fourth Amendment affirms the right of the people to be secure in their homes against unlawful searches and seizures, people might be unwittingly bringing these spy devices right into their homes under the guise of efficiency. Seemingly innocuous electrical appliances, such as rice cookers and refrigerators, are now being manufactured with Google's Android operating system and an internet connection. Of course, the suggestion is that these technological leaps are a good thing, but Google long ago announced its plans to direct targeted advertising through technological devices by using the ambient background noise of a person's environment to spy on their activities. The search engine giant filed a petition for advertising based on environmental conditions and describes using temperature, humidity, light, and air composition to produce targeted adverts. Google recently purchased smart thermostat maker Nest for more than $3 billion. Nest takes over the heating and cooling system of a person's home to direct energy consumption. Well, now the thermostats will be enhanced by Google to connect with the web. Google has made no secret about literally wanting to control your home. So now they're just making sure all of your appliances are equipped with this surveillance technology when they're ready to launch. Everything from Xbox to Verizon TV boxes have this technology that enables industries to peer right into your home Home and analyze your actions, conversations, and relationships. The terms of service for Xbox Live warn that a user should not expect any level of privacy concerning use of the live communication features, and to the maximum extent permitted by law, they may monitor your communications and disclose information about you. The most disturbing and worrisome Big Brother gossip is not that Xbox maker Microsoft was involved in the NSA PRISM scandal or that the console sits listening 24-7 for voice commands. No, the most startling revelation is Kinect's ability to map your shape in high def. The new Xbox One can see your penis. Now these are just several ways that the government has already tapped into your home, but I haven't even touched on the smartest device that you own. Your phone comes equipped with a microphone, camera, and tracking device that gives the NSA backdoor access to everything you do and who you're doing it with. But no, I'm not talking about your phone. I've just been talking about light bulbs and thermostats. It should be abundantly clear by now that this has nothing to do with energy efficiency and innovation. This is about a well-planned, well-orchestrated agenda for the complete transformation of America. Educate yourself on every aspect of this agenda so that you can learn how to fight this takeover attempt. And on simplest terms, vote with your dollars by refusing to buy into this smart technology. Well, that's it for our news. Thank you for watching, and please support our operation here. One subscription to Prison Planet TV can be shared with up to 10 people simultaneously. It's a great way to spread the news, and it helps by supporting this operation. Well, that's it for this edition. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. And the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution. InfoWarsStore.com You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.